Where do all of these leaves go to once they've fallen on the ground? Well, of course, they're gonna de decompose bacteria and fungi, break them down and release CO2 this way. Well, I wanted to dedicate now this video to the so-called detritivores. These are little animals that also contribute in the decomposition process. And after just a few weeks, look, this is how they look like. And I'm gonna show you now how you can do this at home because I think decomposing leaves are not only an interesting project for students, but also for other folks who wanna put something under the microscope. And of course, there are plenty of other microorganisms and also worms and insects that can be found on a decomposing leaf. Hi, Microbe Hunter here. And this leaf, uh, I'm going to put this leaf under the microscope, uh, but not only that, um, I'm also going to decompose it. Um, and then I want to watch uh, the decomposition process over the next couple of days as well. So that's gonna be my project. Well, a little bit of garden soil in a plastic container plenty of water you place the leaves on here maple leaf a birch leaf and also a ginkgo leaf and then I sprayed everything with water of course because you want to make sure that the, it's moist sufficiently moist for all of the microorganisms to start working under the stereo microscope on day one the leaf still looks very nice everything's still yellow this here is now the ginkgo leaf for example so you can see the pigments of, of, uh, of the leaf are still present um, and you can also see the nice reflection of the, my microscope lamp here and on the left side you can see a little bit of water running down the leaf and just a few days later um, you can see that the leaf starts uh, to start to start to discolor a little bit there are now spots there and i think that these are fungi that start to grow here also bacteria and they start to use the leaf now as a source of food and this way it starts to decompose the leaf. But um, up to this point, I did not see any um, other um, animals yet. So I had to wait yet uh, another day or so. And also the ginkgo leaf now starts to become a little bit more transparent. Um, and I think uh, that the microorganisms are really happy right now. By the way, the garden soil is really important because there are of course spores uh, of fungi in the soil and uh, this increases the chance that the leaf starts uh, to decompose. You just uh, leave uh, the leaf uh, in the container, then essentially it's quite it can be expected that uh, the decomposition process will not take place as quickly. Yeah, and this is uh, again uh, a few days later and you can see now that there are some white spots here on the birch leaf. I think this is uh, also the place where fungi now start uh, to increase uh, their growth a little bit. Um, you have to keep everything quite moist. Uh, I was a little bit surprised that I had to water and spray everything pretty much every day. Um, even though I put a lid, lid on, on the plastic container, apparently it was not quite uh, sealing off quite well. All of a sudden I saw there's some kind of a weird movement going on here on the surface. What is this? Is the leaf moving? And uh, I could not see really what the reason is for this strange movement. So I had to zoom in a little bit more and I could almost not believe what I saw here. And uh, just, uh, I wonder if you're able to guess what you see here, because what you see here are tiny microscopic little worms. And uh, if you look very carefully, you can see them wiggle around a little bit. They are not pigmented, so they were still clear. Um, and uh, for this reason, they were quite difficult to see actually in the clear water. So it appeared almost like that the leaf itself is moving. But uh, as a matter of fact, there were hundreds of little worms here. Here is one. I zoomed in a little bit more. So apparently there were maybe some eggs either on the leaf or in the garden soil that gave rise to these little worms here. And these detritivores, what they do is, is of course, they are very important for also ingesting um, organic materials or they're eating the leaf and decomposing it uh, that way. And uh, in that sense, those uh, animals as well um, as bacteria and fungi contribute to a decomposition process. They're pretty important, uh, pretty important. And uh, I was not able to see them uh, a few days later anymore. So apparently they have uh, crawled into the earth already. Yeah, now we start to see for the first time a few black spots here as well, and uh, also brown. And uh, there is really something going on here. So this was just a few days um, yeah, into the experiment. 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to now show, give you um, a complete overview on over about approximately one month of decomposition. So this was on day one. And uh, just a few days later, you could, uh, can actually see it starts to discolor. We, we just had a look at, at this under the microscope, of course. Yeah, it starts to turn brown. The pigment, the carotenoids, well, they start to break down as well. And as the bacteria and fungi continue to grow, the leaf also starts to become more porous. Look carefully, okay? Now you can actually see that the leaf becomes more and more transparent. Of course, almost every day or every second day, I had to spray some water on top here. Yeah, and this again a few days later. And uh, what we can see now is, is uh, that uh, if you look very careful, carefully that the leaf here, it looks, starts to look a little bit like a net. The reason is, is because all of the soft tissue has now uh, disappeared because it was either completely decomposed or eaten up. Yeah, and that's what you see. The little insects, uh, many of them crawling around here in, in the soil and also on the leaf itself. Now, of course, I do not quite know which uh, species this is. Maybe some of you are entomologists and a little bit more experienced here. And yeah, it, they, all of them, pretty much all of them tried to crawl away from the light. So it was a little bit difficult to uh, do a microscopic observation because as soon as I turned on the light, they tried to escape and they tried to hide in the soil. But some of them had a problem finding the soil because they were on the leaf itself. So this guy here is running around and simply looking for a place to hide. And well, to no avail. The leaf at this place is still reasonably intact and there is no place to actually crawl through the leaf. Here, for example, yeah, here the leaf is already pretty decomposed and on the left side you can see there is something moving beneath in the soil. So at those places where the leaf um, is decomposed like this, it's of course much easier for all of the organisms to quickly crawl away and hide on the bottom surface where there is less light. I think it's quite fascinating. I did not expect really to see so many animals uh, in this little plastic container after just a few days. But uh, that is uh, the whole point of the whole thing. I mean, the cycle of life. You have uh, life, uh, yeah, trees forming the leaves and then they have to decompose. This seems to be a larger thing here. And um, you can also see that this seems to be some kind of a worm or an, a larva even, because I can actually see also some silk, those uh, fine white fibers. That seems to be the silk of a larva. And um, yeah, I did not turn this one around, so I did not check. But uh, as a matter of fact, there were quite a, lot, a few of these organisms. Yeah, you know, here again, our little friend crawling around, looking for a place to hide. Yeah, with my zoom uh, function, I can, I'm able to f uh, zoom in a little bit here and to refocus huge antennae. That's quite surprising. You know, it's an insect, of course, uh, because it's got six legs. That's uh, of course quite easy um, to identify and yeah, after a few days again, some of the leaves really started uh, to decompose quite well. At the beginning, not, not, nothing much happened, but then, um, yeah, this one is the birch leaf. On some places, uh, completely uh, broken apart and completely left to the forces of nature, as I would like to say. The, this here is the ginkgo leaf. Can you believe this? The ginkgo leaf uh, still is quite okay. Um, I wonder why. Of course, there are also these little... Um, insects uh, crawling um, around on top of it, but the, the leaf itself did not really decompose as quickly. I wonder why this is the case. Uh, maybe there are certain substances in the leaf that the insects um, and the animals don't like to eat. I don't know. Maybe some of you are a little bit more, know a little bit more about this. Yeah, and that's again our little friend from the very beginning, a worm. I, I found several of those guys uh, crawling around as well. And I suppose that of course they to use the leaf as a source of food. Yeah, so that's almost it. This was day one, everything's still intact. And after approximately one month, that's how it looked like. Look at all of those little tiny insects on the leaf and the birch leaf here, well, almost totally decomposed. A very nice project, a very interesting project. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do also check out my second uh, YouTube channel and my third YouTube channel about microscopy, uh, microscopic mysteries, I called one of them. The links uh, are below. And in this YouTube channel, it's up to you to guess what I'm showing you. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.